All right, everyone. So this is your video on how to write a standard paragraph. Uh, I know a lot of people are always having trouble with writing. So I wanted to create a video that kind of breaks it down in a more understandable way. This is called the hamburger method. I talked about it a little bit in a previous video, but I want to discuss it a little bit more in depth. Okay, so we have hamburger paragraphs. How to write a really great paragraph. And you can do this for anything, okay? So basically what we have is the top bun, right? The topic sentence is our top bun. What does that mean? It means that the it's the very first sentence of your paragraph. Usually it's the thesis statement, the main idea, okay? Secondly, this always needs to be indented when you're typing. So keep that in mind, just hit your tab button one time. It looks more professional. and. Thirdly, it tells what your paragraph is going to be about. What is your argument? What is your reason? The why should we care portion, okay? So your thesis statement is like the roadmap to your essay. And in this case, it's your topic sentence. It's the first sentence of your paragraph. And it tells us why we should care, why we should want to read on, okay? So here's an example. There are many reasons that I love to teach, all right? This is my thesis. This is so when my reader reads this, they know that my paragraph is going to be about all of the reasons I love to teach. Normally, I would tell you to list those reasons in this sentence. There are many reasons that I love to teach. Um, first, being at school. Um, second, the days go by quickly. And third, I like seeing students and I, I like being around kids. Okay, so that is a more concise, clear way to create a topic sentence. But if you're just starting out, this is a nice way to start too. Okay, so the first detail is your lettuce. This should not be the most important detail. It needs to follow directly after the topic sentence. Okay, it needs to be full of good lettuce -y details. What does that mean? First of all, I love to teach because I love being at school, okay? It's not the most important thing to me, although if you want to write it in the way that it's most important to you, to the least important to you, you can do that. But right now, we'll start from least important to most important, okay? The second detail is the tomato of our hamburger. And this still should not be the most important detail if you're operating in most to, or least to most important. Okay, this is just another detail that follows right after the lettuce. Okay, and again, it needs to be full of good juicy details. Let's look at our detail. Another reason I love teaching is that the days go by quickly. Okay, now I have two reasons that I've told you about. Being at school and the days going by quickly. Those are two reasons why I love to teach. Okay. The third one is the cheese. For those of you that like cheeseburgers, I guess is the proper word here. It's still not the most important detail, but it needs to start differently than the other sentences. If we keep using the same words, we're not growing our English, we're not expanding our English, okay? It's very important to show variety, to show differences. So this needs to be full of cheesy details. A third reason I love to teach is because I love seeing a student understand something new, okay? So that starts differently than the previous two. They, the previous two sentences says, first of all, and then another reason. This time I'm saying a third reason. So there are differences in how I start each sentence. And this is to keep the reader interested. The last detail is the meat. Okay, this is the most important detail, right? The meat of the hamburger. Without a hamburger, meat, we have no hamburger, right? This has to start differently than most of the other sentences and it needs to be full of the meaty details. Finally, I love to teach because I love to be around kids. So that's probably the most important reason that uh, I have. And that's why I'm making it the meat of my sandwich, okay? And then our closing sentence is our conclusion and that's the bottom bun. It looks a lot like the topic sentence or our thesis. It just summarizes that sentence. It says it in a different way, okay? But it still needs to be obvious that our essay is now done. And how do we do that? These are just a few reasons I love to teach, okay? 
So if you're having trouble setting up a paragraph or writing a paragraph, I highly recommend that you use this format. You can use all of these sentence frames and just add your own details to each ending, okay? All right, so that is our hamburger method. I hope it was helpful for you and um, enjoy.